Judy Austin versus um, Georgia Unoha. Now, Georgia is a good friend of mine. And I'm not close to Judy, but you guys have probably seen Sarah Martins a couple of times here on my live. So Sarah is somebody that I speak to from time to time. Now, the story is, and here's my take, and I'm going to open up the phone line so you guys can also contribute. Remember, Judy Austin versus Georgia Unoha. And what is the topic? Judy mourned Yule's son, late son. Here is my take. What do you really want Judy to do? What do you really want Judy to do? Have you noticed that unless Judy specifically makes a mistake, I don't really go after her. I used to go after Yule at a point, but after a while I just left it. I said, you know what? Yule is Yule. He has made his choice. Is a choice my father made. So if I say Yuli is stupid, am I might say my father too is stupid. My father is polygamous. My father has two wives. So if you, if my father did it, and I'm insulting you for doing it, that means I'm insulting my father at home. Because it would be hypocrisy for me to point to you when my papa do the exact same thing where you will do. Hello? My only problem with you was that he took a woman who was not polygamous into a polygamous setting. But you see, I need you to understand something. And I've said this all the time. Men are polygamous by nature. I don't know if I'm not a woman, but I swear to God... I can be in, a, in an intercourse relationship with a woman and have no feelings for her whatsoever. It is a pastime. Intercourse is a pastime. That is how many men are wired. I don't need to love you. I, don't, I, I, I might talk to you. I don't need to be fond of you. Listen, what will make me come back to you again is if you are clean. Those days when we're in the world, I liked clean girls. Some girls, you remove their pints like this, what you will begin to hear is smell. You will not smell it, you will first hear the smell. You will hear them. Hey! What do you mean with this? Then you will give me, they see the mosquito, they come out. Then Tete fly go join the mosquito, they come out. Then one or two gecko come out. Maybe one mouse, one rat. Then like Tiri Agama lizard. Now you go no say you carry matter. So if I'm going back to a lady that I have decided is my plaything. I don't care about her heart. I don't care about her parents. I don't care about where she's from because I don't want to marry her. I don't want to be in a relationship with her. I am just looking for a pastime. And I could do it. I was with a girl I was in love with. And I had my runs. And I would pick them up for the night back then. And the next day, I'm back with the woman I love. Because those ones, I did not do it for love. It is you women that do these things for love. We don't. We just want to have fun. Ask any man that is true to you. I can... I can be in a relationship. The problem I had with Yule initially, the problem I had with Yule initially was that 
Yo didn't carry me along. So it was like he broke her heart. A woman who has been with him for so long, he broke her heart. And then he wouldn't stop talking about it. So it was like he kept stabbing her. But to be honest, I don't have a problem with his relationship with Judy. I just have a problem with how it was presented to me. Personally, if I'm in a relationship and the relationship is no longer working, instead of going into a polygamous relationship, because as I've evolved, I have evolved to realize that I am a one woman man. I just didn't find all what I was looking for in one woman. That's why I had the tendency of having more than one. But the moment I found a woman that has everything I'm looking for, it became easier for me to be a one woman man. So it is unfair for us to keep beating you with this same cane of Eh, infidelity, he is bad, he is this, he is that. I think it is unfair. I think for you to be able to see something he was looking for in Judy, I think we need to leave them. My only problem is respect me. That inside all of that, that's my only advice to you. Just inside it, find a way of respecting me. And if she totally does not want to be a part of it, go your separate ways my advice someone said does it make it right it doesn't make it wrong it doesn't make it wrong i would not stand here and tell you polygamy is wrong and gay is right that's what the white people are telling us that's what they're telling us they're telling us the polygamy that our ancestors practiced that our biblical ancestors also practiced is bad but the gate that they used to flog people for in Nigeria and inside Bible is now good. Because if I go after you, my father is polygamous. So that means I'll also go after my father at home. Every single brother my father had except their last born, they're all polygamous. A grown man or woman cannot be snatched. She be the same self snatch person wife. And I, uh, my question to the person who they say I snatch in wife is, what thing you they look where they take collect your wife? Now, so you mumu. I'm asking you. Now, so you mumu say they can't snatch your wife. When nobody say you they you they poor. When nobody say you were war. Waiting you kill on war. Waiting you they look where they take collect your wife. Waiting you they look. Because they always said that. Hey, hey, hey. The guy went to cry saying, hey, they snatched his wife. Nobody can snatch a grown man or a grown woman. There was a situation that they were tired of. And they met somebody who either was alone or was in another situation that they were tired of. That is, that is how I view life. If I'm in a situation I'm tired of, and I meet someone who is in a situation the person is tired of, sparks will fly. Someone said there should be boundaries. When I have nothing to lose, I will not set boundaries over nothing. I have a heap of refuge. I have a brand new Mercedes. When everybody else parks their car, they park it with the yash on the road. Me, I park it almost touching the wall so that nobody will scratch it when they are passing in front. You guard what is valuable. Taste buds, you cannot snatch her because you will not see her to snatch. Where do you want to see her? That I am not there. Where do you want to see her? Because I know her value to me, so I will guard her. And she will also guard me. As guys. So, so, so let's talk about Judy the Home Destroyer. And, and here's what I have to say about that. You see, nobody can snatch somebody 
who does not want to be snatched. But the moment the problem I bring you is more than the joy I bring, they will snatch you the day you find somebody. Hey. You can't say Judy was a home wrecker. That's the narrative many people would like to say. Why did you follow her? There must have been something. Something somewhere must have happened. And it doesn't always have to be Juju. It doesn't always have to be Juju. And then, let me tell you something, yeah? Let me tell you something, yeah? Another narrative that everybody is blaming Judy, codedly, outwardly, and inwardly, for the loss of the young man's life, may his soul rest in peace. I find that very unfair. I was talking to one of my aunties who one day were alone in the car and she told me that some other woman was a witch. I said, Auntie, every woman is a witch. You where they sit down here, you know, say, you know, waiting that they talk about you. So stop funding it. Stop funding that narrative. Because the more you tell women are witches, you are funding the narrative that women are witches. And they will still say it back to you. Because whether you like it or not, they will say taste buds is a witch. They will say my mother is a witch. They will say, so stop. Unless you have proof. Stop that narrative. Things happen. And... The issue at hand is she came and gave condolence. If she had kept quiet, when I go blame her. If she had talked, you go blame her. It is a situation. Someone said, do you know heartbreak syndrome might have caused it due to his parents issues so here's my take at the end of the day there are many conversations in this equation and i like to have conversations and i encourage us to have conversations um i don't see anything wrong with polygamy it has been my stance from the beginning however if you must be polygamous you must take your wife along with you Polygamy is, is not something only you can indulge in while the people you are with are not polygamous. It's like dating somebody who is not dating you. I remember one time like this when somebody did a shout out to her boyfriend, Whiskey. Then a day after, Whiskey said he's single and searching. So it can't be like the person they date who know they date him. If you remember that particular story. So you can't be polygamous unless you are with somebody who is polygamous. Only you cannot be polygamous. It is impossible. So my stance has always been, if you wanted to be polygamous, you should have brought me to have done it properly. But as the matter don't reach now, what are they supposed to do? They don't bomb Pekin. They know if you throw away Pekin. Let's forgive them and move on. My advice to me as a sister that I love and respect is in fact, let me not advise. They are going through their own. Nobody asked for my advice. But because the matter is in the press, in the public, nobody can tell us not to talk about a matter that is on Insta blog. If you didn't want us to talk about it, you would not have let it get to Instablog in the first place. My own is live and let live. And I used it as an, a means to bring out some discussions around polygamy, around marriage, and around so many other things. Thank you all for watching my live.